Sandy here from Primos.co.uk and today I'm just going to be showing you how you can use very basic JavaScript to um, password protect a uh, web page. Okay, so I'm just going to open up the page that I've made. Please enter your password to continue. The password is DreamWares. Hit OK. Password correct. Hit OK. And it opens this terribly crafted web page. Okay, so that's what you're going to be making. And let's see what happens if you end up a password incorrect it'll redirect you to a different page. In this case I've said to redirect you to dreamworks.co.uk. Alright, so this is how it's done. You're gonna... Here's the script right here. I'll tell you what each part does. This right here, script language equals JavaScript. I'll put it in the sidebar, by the way. Well, I'll put a link to the script anyway. Um, this is just an opening tag to say that we're gonna input some JavaScript and here is the closing tag to say that's the end of a JavaScript. These two lines here are just declaring variables, password and pass1. Pass1 is the um, password that you're going to input um, to get onto the page. Then password equals prompt, please enter your password to view this page. That's just going to bring up um, a prompt, basically. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to bring up a prompt asking you to input your password. And then if password, and um, if so, when you type into the prompt, you would um, setting a value for the variable password and if that value that you just set is equal to pass1 which we've set as dreamwares in this case you can set whatever you want if it's equal to it then you'll get an alert saying password correct press ok to continue else that means if it if it isn't equal to password1 window location equals dreamwares.co.uk okay so it's that simple um, I'll put a link in the description to the code so that you can just copy and paste it if you're too lazy to type it in yourself. Um, I hope that helps. It's very simple, fairly effective, though it can be bypassed. So if, if you have very sensitive information, I would suggest using a different form of security. But this is just something basic that you can use to protect fairly private web pages. Okay, cheers. Have a nice day.